Hello, I'm Laura McCarry at The Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on how to use business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. Today, I'm going to share with you some insights from Willis Towers and Watson's 2014 study on employment, attraction, retention and engagement. As a business, we want good and committed employees. We look for qualifications, skills, experience, expertise, attitude and a good fit for our business. Likewise, employees are also on the lookout for great people to work for. So what makes a business an employer of choice? This survey compiled by Towers Watson in 2014 illustrates what most employers think it means and compares it to what employees think. The study shows some really interesting divergences. Working down the right hand list, which illustrates the employee's views. Compensation. This may include salary and benefits that are equal to or above market standards. Job security. Employees are attracted to stay with organisations where they feel that they will have a job if they do good, good work. Employees with job security are more willing to take risks for the organisation and will be able to be more focused on their core functions without any worry. Opportunity to career advancement. Professional development opportunities should be given via internal recruitment programme or internal job postings. Allowing employees to demonstrate new skills through learning and promotion shows dedication too. Learning and development. This can be for acquiring new skills or sharpening existing skills. Challenging work. Involvement is um, identifying identification with one's with one's job. Employees who are involved with their jobs are proud of what they do and feel responsible for their quality of work. Reputation as a good employer. This is a perception and may include items such as rewards and recognition, fairness, freedom and respect. Vacation and paid time off kind of speaks for itself. Having attracted the right staff, we now need to consider these additional items to retain them. Trust and confidence in senior leadership. Employees need to know what's really going on within any organisation. Restructuring, merger, demerging, acquisitions, financial progress year on year, company reviews, expenditure, etc. Communication plays a vital role in any organisation. The length of commute. Whilst this is raised as a, a retention issue, it is a problem that needs to be considered at the point of recruitment. Relationships with supervisors. Successful businesses motivate people to accept each other and work as a team to achieve common goals. Businesses encourage building personal relationships. And managing limiting the work related stress. Most employees want a reasonable balance between work and personal life. Increasingly, businesses are attempting to become more sensitive to the personal or family needs of employees. Some of the practices may include flexible working hours, working from home, paid vacation or additional paid leave. What I think is important in the results of this survey is recognising the differences in perceptions. For example, learning and development is an important item in, in attraction, but less important in, ret in retaining employees. Employers miss out on several items in retaining employees, putting it for example, more emphasis on short-term incentives than they do their own performance in building trust and challenging work over job security. Interesting, don't you think? Question from a recruitment perspective. How are you selling or positioning the opportunity to work in your company to the outside world? Attracting the right candidate is a sales job. Question from a retention perspective. 
How are you servicing your staff? Your internal customers are as valuable to your business as your external ones. The big surprise to senior management is how significant their leadership has on satisfaction levels. Towers Watson identified these as the top five elements. Leadership, effective at growing the business, sincere interest in the employee's well-being, behaving consistency, consistently with organisations core values, trust and confidence in job being done. Goals and objectives, good understanding of the organisation's business goals and steps needed to reach those goals understanding of how the job contributes to the organisation achieving its business goals. Workload and work-life balance. Healthy balance between work and personal life. Work arrangements are flexible. Enough employees in the work group to get the job done right. Amount of work required is reasonable. Image. The organisation is highly regarded by the general public. Organisation conducts its business with honesty and integrity and empowerment. Management involves employees in the decisions that affect them. The organisation seeks opinions, suggestions of its employees and the organisation acts on employee suggestions. Use them to self-assess your business and its leadership. On a scale of one to five, with one being low and five being fab, rate your business performance. And if you dare, ask your staff to rate your business performance. When you know where the gaps are, you can focus on business and leadership development to attract the right talent and keep them. So there you have a quick overview of the Willis Towers Watson's Global Trends in Employee Attraction, Retention and Engagement. Um, do go and check out their website, really useful stuff there. It's an Australian company, fantastic resources. You can also download the templates, of course, from the, the Hidden Edge website and have a go. Until next tea break time, enjoy the rest of this one.